Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that have popped into Crosswatch and welcome to your tarot messages. Today we're going to take a look at urgent messages that your spirit guides are wanting to tell you. Okay, so urgent messages, they're wanting to communicate to you, that they're wanting to guide you towards anything that they feel like you need to know um, will be within this reading. Uh, because it's a general reading, there are going to be general messages, guys, so just please be mindful of that. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. Um, otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what messages Spirit Guides want you to know. Okay, so we'll keep the cards a shuffle and see what messages Spirit Guides are guiding you to. Okay, so top row, you have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, Temperance, the Moon card here, Justice, the World card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, you've got a few Major Arcana cards here, and of course, Major Arcana cards are, you know, they're on their own, they can be very powerful and bring in some very transformational energy here to the spread, um, as well as, you know, the, the, the messages here. Okay, so Ace of Wands here, Fire Energy here. Your spirit guides want you to follow your heart, okay? Anything that you're being pulled towards, that you're being drawn towards, it's important that you follow your heart, allow your heart to take the lead. Now, this is in reference to a romantic relationship, to a job, a situation, or any move that you want to make next. Spirit um, wants you to follow your heart here. Let your heart... because. Let your heart guide you guys. And this is a little bit different for you. It will be a little bit different for you. Purely because you guys are, you know, you're governed by mental energy. And a lot of the times you don't allow your emotions to guide you, okay? You, a lot of the times you use your logical mind to rationalize, you know, your steps or your behavior or your actions. But spirits want you to, for a change, they want you to leave the logic out of something here and instead listen to your heart listen to your emotions let that be what guides you what leads you here okay because notice in the distance here with the ace of wands there's there's a castle um it is a castle and then there's rolling peaks here spirit is telling you that in the distance here lies ahead for you a lot of opportunities, but you're only going to get to those opportunities. You're only going to get to that castle here and the abundance of opportunities if you follow your heart, because your heart, your passion, your emotions are what's going to get you there, guys. So I feel like that's extremely important for a lot of you. Um, some of you, you need to take the first steps here towards a creative project, okay? And I know this is very specific, but some of you, you need to stop holding off. Oh, I'm going to write that book about my life, or I'm going to write that, you know, start that poetry or start that creative class or creative course. Some of you, you need to, you know, start taking the first steps here. Start taking action towards a creative project of some sort. Something that you've been dreaming about doing. It's Spirit wants you to know that's actually a very good idea and it's going to help you in many ways because it's potentially going to be, it's potentially going to start something new for you. So a new creative endeavor. It could turn into a project. It could turn into a, a profession. It could turn into something that's going to be publicly access one day on like a public platform it could give you closure here i mean there's so much wonderful things that's what's gonna that um this creative project can um bring here some of you allow yourself to become motivated and inspired here so whether it's by a creative project or about some sort of actions because Spirit wants you to know that there's a breakthrough here and you're very close, guys. You are so close. If you give up now, you will not see this breakthrough. This breakthrough can relate to relationships, love, career, projects, um, just general breakthrough in life, okay? You're so close here, but if you give up now, you won't see that breakthrough. So Ace of Wands is all about building momentum and allowing, you know, don't remain in the abstract uh, 
sort of reality build momentum allow that to uh, and allow for that breakthrough moment in your life here so start getting motivated inspired here start getting excited about the wonderful opportunities that are coming in for you guys because spirit wants you to know and i feel like spirit's been trying to communicate to you notice how sometimes you get um, these like you, reoccur you constantly see this reoccurring numbers or you, you or symbols like for example you guys are you know you see like certain symbols like um, feathers here or the number 1111 on a repeated basis like your spirit guides are trying to communicate to you it's not random these things are not by random these things are not by coincidence um, and the Knight of Cups, for a lot of you, I feel like there is a new beginning in terms of love and romance. But again, I feel like, you know, the Knight of Cups here is someone who's in touch with his intuition and his emotion here. Um, so it's important for you to, for you guys to be a little bit more in touch here with your emotions and your intuitions. And allow them, you know, to take the lead here. Because the places that you will go will be completely, it'll blow your mind here. Spirit also wants you to be patient here with regarding a certain energy or with regarding certain situations in life. Spirit wants you to know that there are certain delays happening for you because something here is not meant to happen yet, okay? There's not divine timing, not just yet. So if something, if you haven't received that answer yet or if certain things are being delayed here, Spirit wants you to know it's Spirit working, okay? This is the works of Spirit. This is the works of divine. These delays here are happening to you for a reason. This projects that are being stored, relationships that have been stagnated, certain things in your life that have been delayed here. This is spirit. This is spirit behind it all. And if you're asking yourself, why would spirit be so mean? Um, it's They're not being mean. It's because there's a purpose here. Something needs to happen in divine timing. And right now, it's not divine timing. It's in your timeline, guys, but it's not in divine timing. So be patient here. Spirit urgently wants to communicate to you that don't try to force fit something and don't try to resist any of these delays or anything that's sort of not happening in the way that you want it to happen, okay? Um, it's because something here, there's something bigger for you in store, okay? There's something so much more bigger, so much more better happening for you, okay? That's why there's delays um, around you guys. Also with temperance here, there are certain messages that are being sent to you by angels, guys. Like again, like seeing the numbers 1111 or certain reoccurring thoughts, patterns, dreams or symbols. Okay, so, you know, if you have a question that you can't solve or you don't know the answer to, ask your angels because they're there with you. They are and they're trying to communicate with you. Some of you are just not being receptive to these messages, unfortunately. So open yourself up a little bit more. You've got the moon here and spirit wants you to know that um, you are, sometimes you hold on to and you cling on to illusions. Let go of any illusions, okay? Let go of il the illusion of what you think something should be or the illusion of what you, you, you know, you think a person should be. Let go of any illusions because those illusions are what's keeping and holding you back, okay? A lot of the times we think, okay, this is how things should be, or this is how, you know, it should have been. I mean, and that's, that can be very dangerous because a lot of the time people end up, people romanticize things and they end up falling in love with the idea of what someone could be, the idea of what a relationship could be, or the potential of who someone could be here. So, let go of any illusions here because these illusions are essentially clouding and veiling your judgment and your vision here as well. The moon is also a symbol of dreams and intuitions. Some of you, you need to tap into your intuitions and your dreams a little bit more and you need to allow them to um, guide you because a lot of you are getting answers. Your, your spirits, guides, your angels are actually communicating to you in dreams a lot of the time or as I've mentioned in symbols or you know through um, certain songs perhaps and some of you are just not receiving those messages because you're a little bit oblivious to it so it's time to be a little bit more open, a little bit more receptive, tap into your dreams because your angels uh, meeting you on that you know that astral plane there you've got justice here and um, with justice what I'm seeing for you here is your spirit guides when wants you to know that there is karmic justice coming your way here um, some of you have you know this karmic justice is long overdue um, karmic justice here is paying its debt so things here are working out for you um, you'll see evidence of this start showing up in your life very soon the world card here, Spirit wants you to know that there are new cycles. Some of you are completing cycles and you're beginning new cycles as well. So Spirit wants you to sort of 
prepare yourself emotionally and mentally um, for all of these new cycles and new beginnings that are happening for you some of you you're also wrapping something up there's a completion of something here the ending of something but of course we all know that nothing really ends it begins again in a new way Okay, Spirit also wants you to know that you shouldn't be holding on too tightly here. Okay, some of you again are clinging on to illusions of certain things or certain people. Some of you are holding on too tightly. It's a hoarding energy. Some of you need to declutter your mind. Okay, some of you need to declutter your life, um, your emotions here. Get rid of certain um, get rid of certain things that are taking up unnecessary space in your life. Okay, so there are certain people who you know, they, they, don't, they no longer serve a purpose or they don't have anything left to give you and you're still holding on to the hope that one day this person could be, you know, everything that you've dreamt of and more and one day this relationship could be exactly what you want it to be. Those illusions are only taking up, you know, they're only taking up space in your life and they're not serving you well as, at all. So it's time to let go here, declutter your emotions, your mind or even your, like your physical world here as well. Nine of Swords, let go guys, with, with the Nine of Swords energy, Spirit can see you losing sleep, Spirit can see you driving uh, yourself insane, um, thinking and overthinking, analyzing and overanalyzing, Spirit can see that there is the mental stress of something that is taking away so much from you, it's taking so much of your energy, um, you know, it's taking away a lot of your emotional energy here, mental, physical, spiritual, Spirit wants you to let go, surrender yourself to you know to the powers that be surrender yourself here um completely here because a lot of you i feel like you're trying very hard to manipulate the outcome of a situation or you're you're stressing over something that i feel like you have absolute no control or, over so spirit wants you to know that you know you, you need to let go here let go release any negative energy or any energy that feels far too heavy for you to carry okay because what will be will be and it is in you know in 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 your best interest here as well okay so just come what may allow things to happen naturally fluidly organically don't feel like you're there and you have to you know um you have to, you know, manipulate every outcome because that's not how it works here, guys. There's something here that I feel like you're stressing over about it and there's no point because Spirit wants you to know that, you know, it's either done, okay, you need to release it and let go or, you know, um, something here will happen, whether, you know, regardless of whether or not you, you're, you're stressing about it because some of you, I feel like there's this energy of regret, stress, anxiety that... Is holding you down let that go it's dead weight and it's only keeping you down here all right guys these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing or commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now